Hi, my name is Konku Mukherjee and today I will be presenting a brief introduction to Cell Designer that is a system biology software application. Let's start with what is Cell Design. Well, it is a structured diagram editor for drawing different metabolic and gene regulatory pathway and it contains a lot of graphical representations for depicting different metabolites, genes, receptors, etc as well as different interactions between them, such as catalytic or inhibitory reactions. Cell designer uses graphical notation systems proposed by Kitano et al. Here, we have a conventional diagram depicting NFKB pathway, that is a regulatory pathway, and the same can be built using cell designer uh, with various graphical representations, and also we can build different reaction pathways between them. Cell Designer creates models in SVML format, that is a computer readable format for representing models of biochemical reaction. And it also allows easy data exchange with other SVML compliant applications such as Panther, BioPP, etc. Well, let's start with how to download Cell Designer in first place. First, one need to visit the official uh, website that is celldesigner.org, then you have to check for the current version of the cell designer. Currently, it is version 4.4.2. Then you have to select the compute, uh, compatible software as per your operating system. Once the download is complete, install the software package. Here, I have put a screenshot of the homepage of celldesigner.org. Uh, so here you can see that different uh, download options are available for different operating systems. Now, when you open the cell designer, you will see something like this. So here are different sections of cell design. So this is the toolbar section. You will find various graphical notations to draw the pathways here. Uh, in the uh, tree area, that is this portion, uh, uh, it conveys information regarding the model uh, is given, uh, such as number of compartments, number of species, and reactions. One can also add layers to the design. This is the list area and, uh, and it contains information for the model such as species, proteins, genes, RNAs. So all, uh, all the components that you are putting into the model can be seen through list area. And here it is the notes area. You can even input notes for a species or reaction and view it in the note area. So these are some of the examples uh, of different graphical notations which are available in the toolbar. So for protein, receptor, ion channels, all have different types of graphical representations. Even uh, the reaction path, uh, the reactions that are occurring between them are also denoted using different uh, graphical representations. For example, this is the this arrow sign depicts state transition, whereas uh, this time particularly depicts a catalytic reaction. So like these all have different meanings. So now if one needs more information regarding uh, cell designer components, then you, uh, one can visit the menu section in the homepage of celldesigner.org where various information such as uh, features, download, quick tutorial, documentation, health, simulation, model repositories available for cell designer, plugins, news, links, etc. are given. For example, if I require information about how to edit the name of a species, so here you can see using home species, edit the contents of species using going through all these tabs, I can find the result for how to change the species name or even ID or even the compartment type. So all uh, comp uh, compartment design. So all these can be uh, seen in this particular section. And uh, this, the health section is very useful for uh, beginners who are just getting introduced to the cell designer. Well, cell designer also allows accessing models from various model repositories 
Well, model repositories are nothing but databases for various SBML compatible models. Here you can see uh, that some examples are given. For example, uh, repositories that can be directly accessed uh, uh, through Cell Designer, a Panther Pathway database, Biomodels.net, etc. Whereas other databases which were uh, which are having different pathways built using Cell Designer, IPAPS, NaviCell, BioPP, etc. So this is the glycolysis pathway model made with Cell Designer, and this is here is the list area conveying information of all the species and reactions between them. So these are the reaction IDs here. Even you can see that whether uh, the how that what are the products and reactants uh, involved in that particular reactions and what are the modifiers that means that cat, uh, the catalytic components of that particular reaction. Now, Cell Designer also allows conducting simulation of uh, on various models with the help of various simulation software such as uh, different uh, uh, software such as SBML ODE solver, uh, Copacy, and even one can use JARNAC, Gibson simulator. So all these different simulation softwares can be utilized in Cell Designer. But all, uh, one thing to note is uh, all uh, all of those softwares require prior download. So I will be using the control panel. Uh, so uh, actually, basically, it is an inbuilt simulation uh, software and requires no external download, but can also integrate with other simulation packages such as SOS library, uh, Copacy, that are various language software and can be used based on different uh, simulation requirements. So here you can see that an example is given. Uh, so here you can see after simulation, uh, the simulation result is, so, is shown using a graph. Okay. So now let's start how to use cell designer. So this is the cell designer current version 4.4.2. So this will, so first one needs to add, yeah. So this is basically a grid uh, upon which one has to draw its, draw the um, similar, uh, sorry. So this is the grid upon which one needs to draw the pathway. Okay, now, so this is the toolbar section. Here you can choose uh, pro generic proteins, receptors, ion channels. So different uh, species, actually all these are uh, called species in cell designer. So these are, have, uh, this part is having different species. So let's start with generic protein. So, okay, so by default, it will be given the name S1, let's say, Glyco, lice, uh, glucose. So glucose. So I have named this protein glucose, and let's take another protein. So by default, it is named S two. I will name it glucose six e. That is phosphate. Glucose six phosphate. Now. As it is a state transition reaction, I have to be, use this one, this arrow. Okay. Now, I have to uh, also input the uh, catalytic component or catalytic enzyme that is exose kinase. So here, protein, protein. let's see, we need exose. Kinase. Okay, so as you can see, the name is a bit larger than this entire uh, component. So you can click on it. Once you click on it, you will see that there is an option using, using the cursor. You can uh, enlarge the compartment. Okay, now 
So heteroskinase is basically uh, catalyzing this reaction. So here it is catalyzed. It. So you can also use uh, unknown catalysis, inhibition, uh, unknown inhibition, uh, physical simulation, modulation, etc. Okay. So now in the list area, you can find that uh, the, the, all the classes are proteins. I have not added any other carbohydrate, lipid, or in it, etc. So uh, you can see all the classes are showing protein. They have their individual ID that are S1, S2, S3, named according uh, to how I have input them. So next, the, the names. And so here by default, all the quantities will be shown zero, but you can modify it, just click it in on it. So let's say, 10 molecules of glucose yield 10 molecules of glucose 6 phosphate and and the hexoscanner suppose only we have uh, suppose say 5 molecules of hexoscanner okay so i have changed the quantities okay now let's get to the simulation before that you can check out all the other options in the list area so proteins as there are no RNAs, it will, it will show no RNA. No genes are also present, so no genes. Functions, so these are the functions that are the ID, name, argument, math. This section will show what, what are the functions uh, input in this uh, particular diagram. Okay, species type, compartment type, initial assignment, constraints. So nothing has been uh, access given into the uh, Similar, uh, so, uh, sorry, into this particular pathway. So all the others are showing new. Okay, now let's go with simulation. First, you have to right click on it, and okay, here first you have to edit the kinetic law. Okay, so kinetic law means by uh, the reaction will take place following which law of thermodynamics. So here by default you will have options that are the mass action kinetics and irreversible simple uh, Michael uh, Michael is maintained okay uh, reaction kinetics so I, for simplicity I will take mass action kinetics and uh, let's say the dissociation constant being 0 0.45 you can choose any other option as per your need okay let's so you can update any one I, any one of them that will be implemented on the others uh, that are included in that particular reaction. So let's say I've updated this one. You can also do this, okay? For do the same for glucose six phosphate, but by default, as uh, it is a very simple reaction, so uh, the software will take the values by default for all the others also. Okay. Now we have. Change it, close. Now it will show the uh, reaction. So here you can see that stoichiometry is one. Okay, list of products is two. List of modifiers. Okay, so reactants, products, modifiers, all are uh, given here. Now kinetic law. If you again want to change the kinetic law, you can do. But I won't be changing it. So close. Okay. Now. You go to the simulation panel, uh, simulation in the menu section, then go to control panel. Okay, so now if you don't save the changes you have made to the reaction, it may get uh, lost. Okay, if the system, if the software crashes. So you may save it or you may not. I will be just ignoring it as I'm giving this as a demo. Now, here you can see the end time and number of uh, steps. They are by default always set to 100, but you can change it. You can also change the error tolerance. Okay. So glucose 6 phosphate, glucose, hexoskinase, all you can see that what are the species, what are the parameters, what are the change amount, okay, what are the parameters for scan. But uh, as I am not using copper or simulation code, uh, these are not uh, required here in the simu uh, interactive simulation section. You can also change the amounts. Okay, but uh, by the, but I will be uh, taking all the initial amount. So, okay. So, 
So execute. Now you can see that a graph has been generated for this particular reaction. A simulation has taken place. So the green indicates the glucose, uh, the glucose 6 phosphate and the red indicates the glucose. So as you can see, here it is the time. So you can also, as you can see, you can also change the time or you can also change the concentration. But you will get more or less the same result because as the uh, as, uh, as the time is increasing, the amount and uh, due to the reaction, the reactant is getting uh, decreased. The amount of reactant in the reaction is getting decreased and the um, product uh, amount is getting increased. So this is how you can do different types of simulation and build different types of graphical representations of metabolic pathways using cell designer. You can also save it, uh, save the graph and save the simulation in the save as to save as, but uh, as it is a demo, so I won't be saving any of this. Okay, thank you. Are you showing? Yes. So, this was my presentation on cell designer. So these are the reference material that I use for making this presentation. Thank you.